Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Madden 18 Ultimate Team, and we have flashbacks in the game. Uh, we will take a look at that, and I will open up one flashback pack, but we are going to open up a couple of elite player packs as well. So here's the bundle. 100 bucks gets you 10 elite packs and the flashback player, uh, random flashback player. So uh, that could end up well for you or awful. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I actually will be buying one of the cards in this episode if I don't pull it. So um, get ready for that. Okay, okay, Mike Mitchell. Not great. All right, pretty garbage first pack. These pack, oh, okay, what just happened? Okay, these packs are like random and it kind of pisses me off because they usually just suck. Because the the chance that you pull at 80, yeah, see the chance that you pull at 80 overall is just so ridiculously high. Uh, the Marshawn Lattimore, not bad. Uh, he's probably worth a little bit, but yeah, that that's the, that's the like only issue I have with those packs is that they're just like so garbage. But, um, let's see here. Uh, I'm selling my AJ Boye because he's like 700k now. He went up in price. So how much is this March on Lattimore? Uh, okay. Never mind. He can go in the set. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, upgrade set. I don't even know why I try to open up packs anymore. I'm not pull anything. Literally, n never pull anything worth anything. All right, so get rid of him. Make sure I get rid of the right crap. Alejandro Villanueva, and we'll get rid of Mike Mitchell. Okay, and then the 82. I think I'm gonna have to buy one card, but that's all right. Uh, Trey Flowers, Justin Fowler. Unless you can add, he had the Dan Marino. Can you actually add him? No. Okay. You can add these Twitch Prime Legends, but I don't really know if I want to. The only one I'd add is Rodney Harrison, because I really don't need him. Uh, so we're going to add the Gates and the Fowler. And then we will add Reggie Nelson, because I really don't need him. Alright, so there's one Elite Token. You need two to do the set. Let's do this again. And then we just pray we don't get Cameron Wake or Martellus Bennett, because that's just... That's just awful. I, I wish I could add this Julio, and I wish I could add these stupid team leaders, because I don't need them. Okay, so... I guess, hold on. Let's keep Kyle Williams. Let's add these three. Okay, so now we're going to add Terrence Newman. I don't need him. Alright, he's the one. Okay, hold on. Let me, let, let me make sure there's not another card that would make more sense. No. Right, add Terrence Newman, and add Trey Flowers. I'd actually power up the Rodney Harrison because I just there's been nothing. Um, might add the Lamarcus Joyner. No, let's just go buy one. Just go buy an elite. I'll still be over a million coins. That's all right. I'll complete the set. Thank you. I swear, if I pull, oh my gosh, if I pull the stupid Cameron Wake, I'm going to be so heated. Uh, let's see here. 283. Alright, that's fine. Keanu Neal's price is alright. I, I would love to pull the Eric Berry because i probably just keep him on my team. Uh, and that would solve a lot of issues. Uh, but if I don't pull the Eric Berry, then... There, there's two cards, Eric Berry and Bar Byron Maxwell. Those are the two cards that I want out of this. Uh, if I don't get them, then I don't know. I spent no, I guess I spent money as in I spent real dollars on this, but I didn't spend any, like, coins other than that you just saw. That was the only coins I spent to do this. The rest was not optional tradable crap. So here we go. Here we go. Flashback pack. Alright, what are we gonna get? We're gonna get Cameron Wake and Crush My Dreams. Okay, Latavius Murray. I think he's like 100k. Not exactly what I wanted, but that's not not awful. At least it's just not Cameron Wake. Cameron Wake is worthless. All right, newest. He might be less than 100k. Uh, 
yeah, he's at less than 100k. He's he's 80k. Okay. So kind of worthless. Not not completely worthless, but not really worth what I just did to get him. Um, if you think about it, I could have sold the those six elites. I think two were not. So four of those elites were 40k. Yeah, it was not worth doing the set, but uh, that's all right. We got this Latavius Murray. Go ahead and try to get him out of here quickly for 75,000. And then we'll go take a look at the rest of the flashback cards. Don't really know if these are going to end up stabilizing or if they're going to continue to drop. Uh, if you guys could tell, my throat is still kind of out of it, so in a little bit of troubles here, but uh, we did get that March on Lattimore, and we still have the Kyle Williams to sell, so that's alright. Not anything crazy, but that's alright. We can sell those guys. Make a little bit of coinage back. Um, let's go to the auction house. And here we go. So, 88 to 89. We'll start with We'll start with uh, the Cameron Wake because he sucks. So here we go. Cameron Wake going for 60k. Here are his stats compared to an 84 Daniel Hunter. Uh, he's slower by six. He's got eight or he's got nine better strength. He's got two or two less excel, four better tackle at 82, uh, 77 block shed, six less, uh, 11 better power move. Uh, three less finesse move and ten better play rank. I mean, he's not a bad card. Like he's usable, but I mean, just compared to Daniel Hunter, I don't know how much is Daniel Hunter got. Because the eighty fours went up in price a little bit. So hold on, let me see how much Daniel Hunter is going. I might as well. If he's like, uh, uh, he's like half the price. I might just do the up. I might just upgrade to Cameron Wake. I mean, that's, he's not that much. Uh, let's, I'll think about it. We might, we might buy him here later in the video. Okay, so next we have, we have, okay, let me turn on program flashbacks. Okay, the Edelman's a 90. Let me just do it this way. All right, so there's Julian Edelman going for 228K. Uh, really have no interest in this. Because uh, he has 85 speed. Uh, I could just use Brandon Cooks, who's the same height and has the better speed. And right now, speed is king in this game, so I, I don't know. Uh, he has 85 speed, which isn't awful, but I mean, it's it's not great. I mean, the base Julio that you get for just buying the game has three less speed. That's my only issue, but let's take a look here. 85 speed, 90 catching, 84 elusiveness, 86 back catch, 87 release, 92 route running, 89 catching traffic, and 80 jumping. So, I mean, not a bad card, but I don't know if it's a 90 overall. Like, it's always hard with Julian Edelman cards because he, can't, he doesn't have speed, he doesn't have height, he doesn't have, like, for Madden, he doesn't have, like, he do, he's not the build that Madden needs. They, they can juice his stats all they want in other stats, but... The stats that matter are speed, height, and spec catch and catching traffic and stuff like that, and that's just not Julian Edelman's game, and so it kind of doesn't translate well to a card. Uh, so let's take a look at Latavius Murray. His card sold already for me, so we got, we got his points, but uh, there are his stats compared to Barry. So he's got the save speed, 88, so that's pretty good. This card is actually pretty good. I actually do kind of like this card, but I have Barry Sanders, so I don't need it. Uh, 85 agility, 90 acceleration, 84 carry, 87 ball carrier vision, uh, 79 elusiveness, uh, 87 trucking, that trucking is nice, and uh, 85 juke move. Uh, uh, one of the better flashbacks that came out, and he's an affordable price, but lots of people have a halfback, so that's the only issue that I really have with the card, is that how many people actually need that card. Uh, next is this cam going for 200,000 coins. Uh, compared up against by Brady. He's got the speed, 82. Uh, he, I guess the better comparison would be Tyrod, but I don't have Tyrod's card. Um, 82 speed, 80 awareness, 92 throw power, not bad, Cam. And then 80 in both throw accuracy short and mid, uh, 75 throw accuracy deep, 90 play action, and then 90 throw on the run. Uh, I like Cam. I uh, kind of like the card, but I don't think it's worth 200k. 
especially if you already have a, like a non-occupable tradable quarterback like I have. I don't think it's worth the upgrade yet, so uh, not going to be buying that cam. Moving on, we have Martellus Bennett coming in at 70,000 coins. Another card that's kind of almost worth it, but not really. Here's the stats compared to Zach Ertz. Same speed, 6 better strike, 14 better run blocking, uh, 1 better catch, uh, two be or one better release or one worse catch at 85 82 release 82 route running uh, 83 catch of traffic and 84 spec catch now keep in mind this Zach Ertz is essentially free you had to play one string of solos and it's free so keep that in mind if you're gonna buy this Bartellus Bennett uh, because the Zach Ertz is literally free and Bartellus Bennett is 70k uh, moving on we have Ryan Kerrigan going for 140,000 coins. There are his stats compared to Telvin Smith, which in my opinion is the best card on my team. It ain't even close. And Kerrigan, Kerrigan shows him up. Uh, 4 less speed, 79, 84 strength, 88 tackle, 92 play recognition, 86 block shed, 92 power move, 84 finesse move, and 90 hit power. Uh, the real question is, what the... Uh, the zone is a big thing for me. I'm not replacing the Stone Smith. It doesn't matter. But that zone's not bad either. Ryan Kerrigan, not a bad card. Probably one of the better ones that have that came out in this uh, flashback. So that's interesting. But once again, not worthy of being on my team, honestly. Uh, next is Eric Berry going for almost 400,000 coins. And here's his stats compared to the 86 Patrick Chung. Uh, I guess I'll compare him to Marcus Joyner because that's who I'm using on my team. Uh, 88 speed, 88 excel, 90 play rec, 84 tackle, 82 man, 89 zone, 89 pursuit, and 86 hit power. I mean, this is the card. I mean, obviously I wanted to pull him because he was expensive, but I wanted to pull him because I wanted him on my team. But uh, for 400k, like I said, I'm still in the AJ Boye, and I'd rather have AJ Boye, so I'm not going to buy this card for 400k. But... It's definitely a card I'll keep an eye on price and whatnot and maybe pick it up in the future. His other card didn't drop at all, so that's kind of crazy. Um, and then finally, the card that I'm probably going to end up getting here is Byron Maxwell. Going for 180k um, with AJ Boye on the block. Um, I picked up Jalen Ramsey, whose price dropped 30k overnight. I was like, what the hell happened there? But he dropped crazy overnight, but... Uh, I might actually just keep him for how much he sells for because it kind of annoys me that he dropped that much. But uh, we'll compare him to let's compare him to Darius Slay. That's the more fair comparison. So he's got 85 speed, 85 excel, 85 agility, 87 man, 90 zone, 88 press, 88 play recognition, 78 catching. And then what is his hit power? Uh, hit power. Okay, so a 76 hit power. Not bad, not bad, but to be fair, Darius Slay has 78 hit power. Jalen Ramsey has 79. Stefan Gilmore has 71. I mean, so these quarters do have hit power too, so it's not like it's a crazy amount, but let's go ahead. Uh, I said I was going to buy this Byron Maxwell, so I'm going to go ahead and buy him 178,000 coins. Say good... Okay, there he is. Alright, alright, dude. About 180. All right, there we go. Byron Maxwell, welcome to the team. 89 overall. One of the cheaper AV cotton, 89 overall. So there's the Latavius Murray that sold. And then I decided we're going to buy, we're going to buy this Cameron Wake. I mean, he's not that bad. He's not that badly priced. 60K, 88 overall. We'll pick him up and I'll have to do a little bit rework of my uh, chem because I think this will push me. I think this will push me under, like, the chem I want to be, so we'll take a look real quick here, and then we'll wrap up the video. Long video here, 14 minutes. Uh, let's change active lineup, go back to my main lineup. Alright, so, let's see here. Alright, so Cameron, wait, okay, so, yeah, I think this will push me... It's going to push me under the cam. It should. I don't know, it didn't. How am I getting... How am I still getting it? I don't know. I don't actually know how I'm still getting it. Uh, this should push me under. 
yeah, that pushes me under, but as soon as I, I should, as soon as I put Darius Slay and company back in here, we should be all good. Get rid of Jalen Ramsey. I'll sell Jalen Ramsey. It makes no sense to keep him. It just annoys me that his price dropped so drastically overnight. Yeah, okay, so we're good. We're good. We don't even have to... Okay, we're, we're fine. I don't really know how, because you need nine, that nine players, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, unless it's counting the Mike Singletary, which is extremely clutch. I guess that's got to be what it's doing, is counting that Mike Singletary, which is enormous for me, because otherwise I'd have to go out and buy some stuff, so... Uh, let's move Champ up to the fourth corner, and there we go. So we added a couple of flashbacks on defense, Byron Maxwell and Cameron Wake. Uh, I have to go and fill in the team because um, I lost some of those guys I collected. But other than that, team looking solid. Uh, so I'm pretty darn happy with how it is. Uh, guys, that's going to do it. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. If you got a heart, go buy my AJ Boye because... I need the I need the need the uh, 700k coins. It'd be like 600k after he sells, but 630k coins. I need it, guys. Someone go buy my AJ Boye, um, so I can be over a million, and I can be really happy with my team because if they're gonna get that chem, then I'm happy with that. I, I need to take a look at the Seahawks chem actually real quick. I acted like I was ending the video, but hold on, let me take a quick look at the Seahawks chem because you can get Byron Maxwell the 91 zone, but you gotta have the Seahawks chem. Um, and you gotta get it, like, way up, I guess. Okay, so, never mind, I don't want that, because I don't want to have to go and buy a bunch of Seahawks players. Uh, so that was a quick experiment, but guys, that's gonna do it. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.